start recording so I'm making sure to save all these sets individually so it'll be easier for me to upload them later. Good idea. Yeah. Anyway, so we have White Sox versus Full Metal up next for Losers Finals. Full Metal having shown, you know, he's he's, been, he's able to claw his way up back to his placings he used he used to have. He's yeah. now sitting at a uh, guaranteed third at least. Of course, but uh, now also up to probably his yeah, this is, I guess the second strongest challenge. I don't know. I'm not sure. I would say that uh, the chaos thing was much of a challenge because he didn't really get to be much of a challenger in that set at all. But nope. it's time for I think his true test here to see if he can still fight it out with the boys. Yep. In Weiss Tom. So yeah, game number one, starting on Rock Ball. Yes. Actually, this is, uh, I think this is the first time we've seen a set start on Rockwell at all this entire tournament. Awesome, so, so that, yeah, actually, I'm checking back now, and yeah, we haven't had any set start on Rockwell <laughs> that I can find. So, yeah. Wow. Interesting. And then again, I'd say that both these players are pretty comfortable here. Uh, so it doesn't actually surprise me in that sense, you know? So anyway, let's just hop right in, shall we? That's what I say. Full Metal vs. Vice Tom, Craig vs. Setterburn, Rockwell is our battlefield right here. So three, two, one, let's go. First things yeah. first, Full Metal pulls a rock. Very typical Craig way. Far less aggressive than Burn, and uh, playing the spacing game a lot more. Yeah. That was a nice roll behind, allowing him to keep his advantage in the position. He has to down Gang stomp. Short down paper game. Nice. Right. Right. Let's see what he does. Oh, he did not get the hit of that death tech that he wanted. He didn't want to reverse it. That was a nice roll behind to just completely dodge. Yeah. Uh, that's special. So. Trying to make sure he doesn't get caught out by uh, any Tenorans. But, that but unfortunately, he's going to take it. Unfortunately, he puts us in a terrible position and loses his stock first. But, no, okay, never mind. He didn't take it right back. Thankfully, for Fomel, it the uh, headstone of that disappeared before he hit the blast yeah, so zone. battle can rack up much extra credit, only 13%. It's yeah. uh, two moves. Oh, actually, that was that fireball worked out pretty all right. No, actually, he didn't get too punished because of it. No. Why well, actually has pretty darn good rolls? Now that I look at yeah. it, yeah, he managed to do control. his defensive rolls really well. He's utilizing them very, very well in this matchup so far. Yeah. Just gets caught out with the uh, forwarder. Yeah. Very nice conversion there. Nice oh. up tilt to up air or up strong. Seal out the second stock. Oh! The the rock, killer plus rock charge to up tilt to take that stock. That was a uh, very crowded view below. That was a very crowded view. Uh. Using that nair to uh, just guard the end. Uh, yeah. Oh, gets the first two spikes right into that board aerial. Oh, Ooh, there going. we go! He is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, takes game one versus White. <laughs> Good stuff so far. White comes back picking to uh, Treetop Lodge. Yep. Taking a small it. stage, make it even smaller. Mm hmm. Yep, alright. Not much else to say, but just to hop right in. So, three, two, one, let's go. Moving straight in. Uh, Lots of uh, dash attacks. Yeah, unfortunate getting caught while he's holding this hunter's rock onto his dear friend Dwayne. And right now, still having not getting to touch. 
Why Solomon's are right there with this pillar. Already racked up 80%. Mm -hmm. 94 total passive damage over time. Yeah. Very bad position, but he's uh, managed to make it a fair way back. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's already like eating it out. Very good reason to test him now. Man, imagine why thought you were capitalized off of that uh, first punish you or even hunger. Yep. Try to give nuts. him a smash punish. So far, Benny or Thomas is actually looking pretty good place to take for a stock, by the way. But no, let's still go to the back air up strong of Weiss Tom. With the uh, large array of uh, kill setups instead of in house. There's the up strong while we're taking, sealing the first back on Weiss Tom. Oh, there we go, there's there's a counter hit from getting pillared, finally. Yeah. But instead of shine, he is in the air. Because who needs to blip when you can just swirl? Yeah, oh, nice edge cancel there on that uh, special fall. Yes. So there's this charge giant to forward air. Nice parry. The down strong is it's strong enough actually to allow Wise Tom. Oh, thanks to so. those very small boss lines. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm doing a much better mm -hmm. effort this round of uh, hauling him out. Yeah. Uh, just overcoming Ooh, him. This is, uh, this is a dead track. Nothing you can do. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing you can do because he couldn't get back to his power. He couldn't spawn a new one. So that was his complete game by that, after that sweet spot forward there. So game two! Oh. Going to White Spot. Possibly could have been the side B cancel jump. No! It may have given him enough. No. Uh, oh, because it's, air dodge. it consumes really? the pillar. It does. So no, he had absolutely no way of getting back after he got hit by that sweet spot for it. He was completely dead. Sad but true, it is an uh, annoying part of getting hit after you put up your pillar as crap. But anywho, game number three is a counterpick to Ethereal Gates from Full Metal. So yeah, sorry, I'm getting really tired. Anyway, All right. yawning way too much, I'm gonna, actually, excuse me, a very small break, I need to refill my water. Just give me five seconds. I also uh, need to refill my water, sorry uh, chat. Uh, I will cut this out of the bot later, it's fine. Editing powers will come in a late, uh, later time. Fine. Luckily, my tap is not two meters from my room. Yeah, no, my tap is literally two large steps away from my desk. Anyway, we're back. Uh, right, getting into game three. Feral Gates, Formal E versus Life Tom. Let's pop right in. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so first things first, Fulmo once again is going to get getting himself in a position to grab a rock. Very typical crag stuff. Just wants this rock by his side. But Weiss Tom is not not letting him go start free right now, he's just mauling on him. Yeah. Damn, like he's this is shine a lot as an edge guard. Yeah. Oh he rolled right through that pillar and he's just keeping up this little What is he going here? Like he's just not letting Fulmo Anywhere close to doing anything! Nope. Like, Fumel still up. hasn't even touched Wise Tom. Here we, we go, up. first hit of the game for him. There we go, up tilt, up tilt. No punish off of that though. Ooh, pillar up tilt, no man. Punish for that. He's getting away with it a lot more than he did the version part. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, this can oh, be rough. Nice Actually, nice alright. Let's see, can this possibly lead to a stock? Oh, there we go. Nice little pillar, pillar play there. So, my stomp. You like them pillar against them? Jumps off stage and uh, might lose yeah. the stock. What's over that? Yep. There it goes. He's a uh, hundred percent up in quite a good position. Oh, full metal is a uh, work his way. Oh, I actually manages oh. to dodge that up front. That's that's not what I expected, but that should never mind. It's not stuck because White was a bit too quick on the trigger. He was running up against that rock. There's the fairy, and that should be yep. That's the socket stock. Right, Heal no. right up. Ooh, can this be it? No, he gets the weak hit of the up strong. Denying him that. Very sudden thing when you get that uh weak hit. Ooh, there we go, hit some rock shards. And gets the F strong to seal all that. Keeps on getting caught out from the pillar. Mm-hmm. There's the parry. It's down strong. Managed to make it onto the pillar. It's back on stage. But he has a lot of work he needs to put in if he wants to take this game. That was very close. Yep. Just hang out on each side of the stage. I'm being patient. Yeah. Alright, Tom's defensive rolls really like I haven't really noticed it as much before, but now it really like his defensive rolls are really impressive. Yeah, especially against Krang, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you will just get caught out if you don't yeah. roll. But yeah, game 3 goes to ice, Tom. Phew! Man, this is like a pretty slow set. This but, is a very full set. Yeah. Anyway, Fomo getting on game 4, kind of picking Air Armada. That's I guess he felt good. that, you know... He felt, you know, like this is... There's certain areas where Wise Tom, uh, like certain thing counterplay that Wise Tom doesn't do as well. At the same time, I guess Pomel might enjoy having a bit extra space to edge guard him on. You know, like getting that and also having you know just less stage, less wall for him to have to care about at all. Yep, take away some of that wall for the recovery and take away low platforms uh, mm -hmm. for combo extenders. Yeah. Anyway, let's just move right on into game 4. So, Aramada, Full Melt vs. Voice Tom. Game Aramada, Wild Draw. 3, 2, 1, go. So, Voice Tom brushing straight in this time. Yeah. And uh, Full Melt doing his best to try and zone him out. Yeah. Very nice shine. Oh, he yeah. does the edge cancel rock fall. My favorite. Amazing, yet almost completely useless. Yeah. He tries to go for Bajank. That's fine, he still manages to carry on a bit of an edge guard, but alas, the poor decision making. Followed by a roll bait and uh, just some very nice edge yeah. work by Tom. Ooh, there's the pillar up tilt once again to the forward aerial. Oh! <laughs> he wanted to do his rock king, but alas. This gets destroyed. That's just some very nice charge oh. shines so far, actually, for my stop. Yep. We don't see all that all too much in EU. So it's nice again to see someone utilize these underappreciated tools. Hang out, fire and center stage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, uh, pillaring a lot. Yeah, and he's, he's he's just getting punished for every time now. 
Oh no! Oh. What an unfortunate SD for my song! Oh no! It's gonna mess him up. And now he's just getting corner carry. That's fine, he managed to break right out. He's now an entire stop down. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. 37%. Can he make it back? Can he make it back onto the stage? Oh. Let's see, down air. I'm not quite getting the upstrong to connect. But, Formal now has a very pleasant lead. Yeah. He's starting to throw out a bit of random smash attacks so. though. Why some is just kinda hanging back? Like Thank uh, him to the approaching. Yeah. Oh this is a bad position, but it's fine, he breaks out. Just Ooh. going for the there very is, smash yeah, attacks. There is Spinair to Updraw. Taking this to game five, full metal showing that he still has it. Yeah. So yeah, um... So... Now I'm getting a bit annoyed, because, uh... I read DSR was ignored. For my little care. But we're going back to Treetop on why some counterpick, which is the exact same thing he counterpicked last time. Yep. Um, he lost again. So I'm just, uh... Half annoyed that DSR isn't being utilized. Yeah. Shaking my head. Um, forget the rule. Yeah. But anyway, enough about that. Game 5 in this very intense set. Full Metal clawing his way up to show and showing that he still has what it takes to play, at least to get close with the boy. Why's top, top 5 in EU and stuff. Yeah, let's just hop right into Game 5! 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, first things first, Full Metal attempts his pillar trickery again and gets down special parried. The yeah, up specials have just uh, run out, comes too aware of them now. Oh, he finally actually starts doing more pillar kind of play again. Oh, that was actually a pretty good down strong. This is about to spell a bit. <sighs> that all, he almost had that perfectly, but then he. Then fucked up by hitting him in the lap. Why some actually had a completely free stop right there and he actually not done literally anything. But he blew it. Yeah. And let him right on. But not like it matters, it just allowed him to end the kill a bit later still. Fast full uppers. Managing to roll past Ella. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, okay, Rock. Dwayne. Rob, hitbox continues to miss by me. Mm -hmm. There's a down strong finishing up that first stock of my song. Oh, there's the pillar up. It's two up tilts, or even more up tilts. More up tilts anti gear. Uh, it's horrific DI, but he's fine with his strength. Who needs to when you have weight? Yep. Oh. oh, that could have been rough. But it's fine, he also gets the down strong to see that second stock. Going for that tech bait. Jab two. Yeah, smash. Ooh. There's an up strong and yeah, he's keeping it pretty close now. Is this the tournament stock for both of these players? He's off the tournament stock. Oh. Ooh. Has him in a good edgeguard oh. position, but lets him right back on. And this is so close. Pillar up tilt. But he DI's the up tilt very well. He's just not pulling for those up tilt to up airs. Yeah, that's one thing, you know, like even if he's been hit by up tilt, like almost every single time, he hasn't been getting hit by up air at all. Oh, this is a good position for Weiss Tom. He has him on fire. Just a sign to be patient and hand back. Yeah. Oh, but there's the forward air! Will he make it out? 
Oh, it's just the Upstrong and Full Metal takes it over Weiss Tom. Actually, he manages to pull off the upset and beats the top five, the fifth best player in the year, according to our latest ranking.